The trailer for the new Sims 4 stuff pack, Crystal Creations, props for a more unique name, just dropped, and here is my initial reaction and analysis. Now, just as a heads up, every single time I cover Sims 4 packs, understandably so, people bring up bugs. Now, in case you missed it, the team did actually send out a laundry list for the upcoming patch, which comes out the 27th, and it does address some of the for rent bugs and also a save error issue. I will say it doesn't address all the for rent bugs, so I do hope to cover that patch when it comes out. Now the new pack, we're going to be able to craft dazzling jewelry and give creations a spark of power. This is actually going to be coming out February 29th, and I am interested to see how all you react to this. Personally, I'm going to admit right off the bat that I'm not personally super excited about this, but it's more or less what I expected, and I will say props to it for having a, a unique name, some interesting cast items, I will say, and also some actual gameplay alongside just simply making jewelry. Now, as we can see here, you're going to be able to, it looks like maybe actually use crystals out in the world. I'm curious how this works with collectibles overall, and you're going to be able to create a variety of different things. What's really cool about this trailer is it does reveal some special impact some of these crystals will have, and I will pause whenever I think it is appropriate to do so. I will say that the cast and potentially the build buy look pretty interesting and I think they would go along well with Realm of Magic especially. And being able to just craft your own jewelry is bringing something back from previous Sims games, but they did do something unique and I can really genuinely appreciate that because everything is going to have different capabilities and qualities to it. And in addition, it looks like you can build your own collection and display it on your shelves. And I think overall, all, even if it's not something that personally excites me, I think it's a fairly clever idea overall for a stuff pack. The first one I want to mention is Jet, and they are taking these different crystals and gemstone types and associating meaning to them. I actually used to be a freelance writer and write about different gemstone meanings, and honestly, it's very rusty, but I think it's really cool they actually added some meaning to this. For Jet, it looks like you're going to be able to summon the Grim Reaper at will, so maybe that's where those Grim Reaper hints are finally kicking in. We've been wondering, or at least I have, about those Grim Reaper hints for quite some time. And as you can see here, it looks like it does take some effort to actually summon that Grim Reaper. Now we have another one that I need to go back to. This is Orange Topaz, and it will help your sim gain creativity faster. The next one is Jade, and this is an interesting one because it apparently helps you find crystals around the home, and so I am curious to see how this is going to work again in terms of crystal spawning. And as we see in the scene right here, you can actually also craft that into an engagement ring. And I think this is pretty cool, frankly. I think it's well timed that we actually have different types of engagement rings, and I hope that we have a variety of options to choose from too. Now, in my ideal scenario, Sims would react differently to different types of engagement rings. It could be a whole system. And maybe this is just because I'm salty from my wedding stories, but I just think more nuance could be added. And overall, this is great. I admit I am really lazy about giving my Sims accessories, but being able to craft accessories is really cool. And I also hope, of course, that this is compatible with Plopsy from Nifty Knitting Stuff. Now I want to go back a little bit more slowly and just kind of admire some of these items just from a cast and build by experience. First of all, I do say this often, I think the Sims team needs to continue to branch out more. This definitely does remind me somewhat of Realm of Magic. I might be totally off there, so you can let me know your honest opinions in the comments below. But I do think it's going to be versatile, I say that often, and I still think it has a lot of interest in style. I could even see this being blended with paranormal stuff as well. I admit I really like the dark moody tones but of course there's going to be a variety of swatches and I overall am kind of a fan of the cast in Bill by the little bit that I see. Obviously this is not the main components of the stuff pack but it's still part of the stuff pack nonetheless. However if I was to critique something I will say even though I do like it it doesn't feel terribly unique. I do think that there are pieces that definitely feel different and I definitely see See the astrology themes carried throughout. So again, overall, I think that the execution, at least of the concept, is pretty interesting. I think being able to make engagement rings and earrings and bracelets and actually have a collection in your home that you put up for display, all 
also could make for some interesting additions even to builds. And I really am interested in that tree as well. That tree appears to have some kind of majestic magical qualities. So I think overall this is definitely an interesting stuff pack in terms of a few aspects. But I am curious to learn more especially about the association with the Grim Reaper. And I spoke just in time because we did just get a blog post about the new stuff pack and I do apologize that my sound is probably going to be different because I did move. Nonetheless, here's the description and what we can expect. We cannot get enough of crystals. In the Sims 4 Crystal Creations pack, players can unlock a new gemology scale that will have your Sims collecting an assortment of colorful crystals and metals to customize their creations, as well as impact moods that happens a lot, relationships, careers, and lives. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but I feel like they do a better job in some ways developing stuff packs than other packs. In addition, of course, you're going to be able to display new cut crystals around the house, use them for crafting different pieces of jewelry, and charge your crystals in the moonlight to uncover unique properties. From designing beloved treasures like handcrafted engagement rings or custom jewelry to producing unique collectibles that can be sold, any sim can cultivate their own style. Nothing is more special than the pieces you handcraft with love. With crystal creations, a sim can create over a thousand different permutations of items. To create these items, sims can develop the new skill. This new skill can be developed through practicing at the new table. Craft jewelry and cut gemstones in stunning new designs. As your sim's skill improves, so will the quality of their creations. Again, added nuance that I do appreciate here. At the table, sims can cut gemstones and make different designs with the crystals they collect and fashion them into engagement rings, assorted rings, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. By selecting your favorite crystal variant to choosing which metals suit a crystal best, like silver, gold, or rose gold, your sim will feel like a master crafter once surrounded by their colorful jewelry. It makes me wonder if it is a new mini aspiration. I could be incorrect on that. You can use any of these 22 metals found in the Sims 4 worlds, including Baconite, Death Metal, and Romantium. Send a message of love or friendship by selecting the perfect shape of gemstone. Choose from 10 different cuts, including heart, plum bob, or gnome shapes. Honestly, this is more impressive than I thought. Of course, everything matters in terms of execution. But having so many different types of metals to choose from, different types of shapes, and it's something that I think is really interesting. It's not, again, something that personally animates me, but I think what they did here, they did make sure it had more nuance than simply just crafting a couple of pieces of jewelry and calling it a day. Now, the skill itself can be boosted when a sim reads the gemology skill book. When a sim continues to craft crystal creations at the new table, you can also connect with crystal energy. We're excited to share that the Crystal Creations uses the base game Lunar Cycle. This means that in Crystal Creations, your sim can search out crystals on their computer or pluck them off a crystal tree. Uh, I should have guessed that was the tree's main purpose. And once the crystal is cut into a gemstone, the jewelry and gemstones can be charged with the new crystal determining the effect. These objects can be placed on the charging grid. Once charged, the sims can wear or display their pieces, experiencing the impact of the crystals to positively or negatively impact relationships, emotions, and in-game progress. Depending on the crystal, of course, the impacts of the charging may wane over time and your sim will need to recharge to feel the full effect once again. For all, we have a few new crystals, Amber, Jade, and Moonstone. There are currently 27 crystals across all packs for sims to discover. Sims can find crystals anywhere. You can locate common, uncommon, and rare crystals in dig spots on rocks on any world or lot. You can find all the different crystals around the Sims 4 worlds including, and then they actually give us a running list here. There's base game crystals. There's also get to work specific crystals. There's Sims 4 jungle adventure crystals. And of course, the new crystals that come with the stuff pack. I know there's always an ongoing debate about this, but I think 
think this is good pack integration. People might say, oh, well, I have to own all those packs to have all those crystals. That is true. Personally, I actually kind of appreciate the pack integration. It's time to collect your colorful crystals and slip into colorful crystal slippers. Didn't catch that. Bejeweled leather boots and artisan clothing, including button down vests and shirts and floral tops with puffed sleeves. After a long day of cutting, collecting, crafting, and selling crystals and jewelry, relax in a humble abode equipped with soft, velvety sofas, stare into mirrors embedded with crystals, and spend many starry nights at your table learning the tricks of the trade. Now, this is also really cool because it's part of a collaboration. The Sims 4 collaborated with Simmer Arifa B. I very much apologize if I'm mispronouncing their name, develop a dreamy set of jewelry available in Create a Sim, which does feature a necklace, ring, and earrings. Her designs are delicate and sophisticated in a perfect addition. You can of course learn more about this stuff pack during the walkthrough on Wednesday, February 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And as always, if I am able to, I will be covering and reviewing and recapping that live stream. A lot of you say you don't have time to watch the live streams, and so I do like to provide those recaps. And of course, I always argue that the live stream is the most important in judging a pack as well as of course other creator reviews. Well, I think this sounds like a solid foundation. I can definitely separate my personal feelings of just not genuinely being interested in jewelry and accessories. Just saying I think that the overall concept seems like it could be well executed. Again I will say the later stuff packs I think you get a lot more bang for your buck personally than a lot of the other packs and I don't really know why that is. But let me know what you think about your initial impressions about this this new Sims 4 stuff back in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you all so much. Please take care and I'll see you in the next one.